we have found our little spot. What we're gonna do is uh, kind of show you one way that we have learned that works for us to put our pearl floats and float our chain when there's coral bombies everywhere. There is a little science behind this practice so as to not hinder your anchor's ability to dig in and get a good hold or footing in the sand. And luckily, it's not complicated. All you need to remember is to hang your first ball, or the one closest to the anchor, at least one and a half times the water depth from your anchor. So, if you are anchoring in 20 feet of water, your first ball needs to be at least 30 feet back from the anchor. That way there is still enough chain weight to keep your anchor pulling laterally along the seafloor rather than being pulled in an upward direction, dislodging the anchor. If the water depth is 30 feet, then it's 45 feet back from the anchor. 40 feet of water depth, 60 feet back, and so on. The distance between the balls depends on the size of your anchor chain and the size of your floats. We have heavier duty half inch chain, so our floats work well when spaced about 10 to 15 feet apart. It's just something you will have to play around with at first to figure out what's right for your setup. Well, that wasn't easy. It, it's not meant to be easy, no. but it's 100% doable. And necessary if you want Absolutely. to keep the coral safe. And your boat too, but. Yeah, so this technique, the way we did it here was um, easy enough to just clip the carabiners as the chain was getting laid out. Um, this is one way of doing it, especially if you don't have scuba gear. Or want to free dive. We or want to make it accessible for anybody or show that it's doable from your boat without free diving or scuba gear. But I will encourage you, get in the water. See yeah. where you dropped the chain. Definitely. See where you need to have the floats maybe. Um, and, and from the water, you can adjust the length of the chain. Yeah. Or the, adjust the length of the rope so that you can lift the chain to whatever length you need it to be over or whatever height. Yep. Blah, 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 blah. So now we are going to jump into the water and double check how we Whoa. did. Oh. But we cannot reiterate enough how important it is to float your chain in these beautiful destinations because the Keep coral, the coral healthy. is, there's so much life to it. And if you've seen our previous videos, you know yeah. exactly why. Yeah. 